So let's compare Canada to Australia. In this video, we'll be comparing these nations in seven categories, including basic information, geography, population, economy, the standard of living, military, and extra nonsense. We'll be looking at differences and similarities since they are much like each other. Basic information. Canada is located in the north of North America. It shares a border with the United States and it was founded on July 1, 1867. The head of state is King Charles III due to Canada being a constitutional monarchy. Australia is located in Oceania on the southeast. Australia borders no country and was founded on January 1, 1901. The head of state of Australia is also King Charles III. And now witness this fun video of King Charles making fun of a nervous Australian interviewer back in time. With the cooperation of Mr. Miller and the Australian... Sorry. Can we start again? Some months ago, we had a talk with Mr. Harry Miller about the... Oh, no. Was it really 40 years ago? It only seems like yesterday. I wish it were tomorrow. I'd, I'd cancel it. The profits from which would be donated to the Queen's Silver Jubilee organization of... Oh, Geography. Canada is the second largest country in the world, having almost 10 million kilometers squared. It is about 6,500 kilometers east to west and 4,600 kilometers north-south from the U.S. border. Canada is divided into 10 provinces and three territories, and it shares a border with Greenland since June 14, 2022, meaning it shares a border with Denmark's Republic. Australia or Oceania is the world's smallest continent, having 7,688,000 square kilometers, meaning you can fit 1.3 Australias inside Canada. It is the sixth largest country by total area, with a width of 4,000 kilometers and a length of 2,000 kilometers. Australia has six states and two territories. Canada is a geographically diverse country with, in southern Ontario, the Great Lakes, vast prairies in central Canada, west of this are the Rocky Mountains. In the north, the immense, almost completely uninhabited, Arctic landscapes and the Canadian Arctic Islands. Finally, in the east of the country, among others, the Maritime Provinces and the island of Newfoundland. Australia with the Great Barrier Reef, just off the northeast coast. The Great Dividing Range and the Brigalow Grasslands in the east of Australia. At the northwest corner are the sandstone cliffs and gorges of the Kimberley. And in the inland are all sorts of deserts with the Great Victoria Deserts, with the famous Nularbor Plain on the southern coast and the following diverse deserts. Population. Canada is home to 38.6 million people and has an annual population growth of 0.85%. Australia is home to a smaller 26.3 million people, but has a higher annual population growth rate of 1%, making Australia the 54th largest country by population, with Canada 16 places ahead on the 38th place. In Canada, 80% of the population lives within 100 miles of the US. Australia is kind of the same, having at least 90% of the population living at the coast and having 60% living in the six biggest cities, naming Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, Adelaide, and Gold Coast. Canada's biggest cities are Toronto, Montreal, Calgary, Ottawa, Edmonton, and Winnipeg. Canada with 11 people per square miles, or four people per square kilometer, while Australia is even sparsely populated, having nine people per square mile, or three people per square kilometer. Australia is a bit healthier, with in 2018, 65.9% of adults having overweight or being obese, against 69.4% of Canada. In Canada, 76% is speaking English and 23% French. In Australia, 72% are fully English native speakers, with 28% being different languages. Australia's regions are Christianity with 44%, 3.2% is Islam, 2.7% is Hinduist, and 2.4% is Buddhist, with 39% having no religion. Canada is two-third Christianity, or 67%. 3.2% is Islam, 1.5% is Hinduist, and 1.4% is Sikh, with a smaller 24% having no religion. Economy Canada, its GDP is 2.24 trillion, making it the 15th largest economy in the world. Australia, its GDP is a bit lower at 1.615 trillion, making it the 20th largest economy. Canada, its GDP growth rate is 3.8%, which is 1.4 times bigger than Australia's 2.7%. Australia's GDP per capita, however, is higher at the 20th place, with $62,000, making it comparable to, well, Sweden and the Netherlands. The $58,000 of Canada at the 23rd place is comparable to Sweden and Austria. 
Australians pay with the Australian dollar, which is equal to 0.91 Canadian dollar and 0.62 euro. A Canadian dollar is equal to 0.68 dollar. Australia exported for $318 billion in 2022, making Australia the 22nd largest exporter in the world, while Canada exports for $476 billion in a year, making them the 14th largest. The main export trading partners of Australia in 2019 were China, Japan, South Korea, United States, India, and New Zealand. The main export trading partners of Canada are the United States, the European Union, Japan, Mexico, and China. Some of the most important goods were motor vehicles and parts, machinery, aircrafts, telecommunication equipment, and chemicals. That of Australia are iron ore, coal, natural gas, gold, aluminum, beef, and meat. Standard of Living The Human Development Index is the measuring of quality of life including healthcare, life expectancy, and average income. With Australia having 0.951 ahead of Canada, with 0.936, making Australia the 5th best and Canada the 15th best. The unemployment rate of Canada is 5%, which is 1.4 times more than the Australian 3.5%. The poverty rate of Canada is 11.6, while in 2015 it was 14.5, meaning it has dropped by 0.36 each year. Australia's poverty rate is a bit higher, with 12.4, while in 2015 it was 12.8, meaning its poverty rate dropped only 0.05 each year. The life expectancy in Australia is 84 years, while that of Canada is 83 years. Military. Australia's army has 59 tanks, 2,040 armored fighting vehicles, 251 aircraft, of which 83 are combat aircraft. The Canadian army has 112 Leopard 2 tanks, of which 82 are fighting tanks, 2,700 armored fighting vehicles. The RCAF has 430 aircraft, which is 1.7 times larger than that of Australia. The Australian army has a budget of $46.9 billion, which is 2% of the total GDP or a global spending of 1.5%, with which they rank 12th among the largest spenders in the world. The Canadian army has a budget of $26.4 billion, or 1.4% of the total GDP, which accounts for a global spending of 1.3%, with which they rank 13th of the largest spenders. The Canadian army has an amount of active personnel of 68,000 troops, 27,000 reserve personnel, and 3,000 deployed personnel. In the Australian Army, there are 60,000 actives, 30,000 reserves, and 1,800 deployed, which is a bit smaller than that of Canada. Extra nonsense. This is the flag of Canada since February 15, 1965, after 5,000 flag proposals. February 15 is also the National Flag Day. Canadian police also give out positive tickets when they see people, particularly kids doing positive things. The Australian flag features the Union Jack, which acknowledges the history of British settlement, which six points represent the unity of six states. Tell me what countries we should compare next. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.